YouTubers, this is Joe Drums coming to you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, rototoms. Uh, I remember the last video that I made uh, a couple of weeks ago was about these Remo spokes. Well, as you can see, the rototoms themselves actually have the rim part right underneath here. That's where they these things came from. And uh, and then what they would do is they put two together like this, and then the, the drum head would sit on top of that. And that's what you have is these rototoms. Now, a lot of people wonder, well, why do I need rototoms? Well, for one thing, they're cheaper than your regular toms. If you were to go buy toms for a regular drum set, they're probably two, three, four hundred dollars, depending on the company and the size and, and the brand, obviously. Um, but with this, these are usually about two hundred, probably not more than three hundred dollars that I've seen. Uh, they usually come with the stand. They come with this little black bracket, and then these particular ones are the six, eight, ten rototoms. Uh, they do have bigger ones. In fact, they used to go from 6 all the way up to about 18, maybe 20 inches in size. Um, a, a great drummer by the name of uh, Louis Belson used to have a whole drum set. He played double bass, and he had a whole set of these. Another guy that used to play these a lot was uh, Terry Bozio. And the thing that they liked about them was they were actually tunable. So when you hit a drum, it actually can change pitch by turning the drum. So you can adjust it really easily, you know, to the, the tension that you want. Each one of these does that. So the, what's nice about these, they don't look like any particular drum set, so they'll fit with anything, any type of drum set. Um, you know, a, a regular five-piece kit now, if you had these, would actually be an eight-piece kit. Um, so it's really kind of nice. These are pretty cool. I've had these for years. I think I got these for Christmas one year when I was about like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe uh, 15, maybe 14, 15, somewhere around there. And you can see they make actually notes out of them. And they're pretty cool just for a stand standby or standalone. Uh, set. You can use these maybe for like, you know, a bongo session or something. You can even use them with your hands. So really neat. Um, some subscriber had asked me to do a, a little thing on Rima Rototoms and since I did the, the spokes I wanted to talk about these as well. So. If you're wanting to add on to your set, you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, check out the Rototoms, they're really cool. And uh, probably uh, next time we see each other, I'll be doing some more patterns and uh, rock beats and stuff like that. And we'll, uh, we'll see you guys again real soon. Until then, take care. Keep rocking.